Yes, welcome to our first concept TV headline. President Tinubu has nothing he wants to do in the next six months, ex-minister. A former minister of petroleum, Umar Dambo, recently expressed his view on the readiness of President Paul Tinubu's government. Dambo, in a recent interview with Daily Trust, claimed that President Tinubu governors in the country are not ready for governance. The former minister, who was part of the campaign team of President Tinubu, wondered why it took the president a longer time from his, to form his cabinet. He further stated that President Tinubu, in the next six months, does not have what he wants to do. Dambo, when asked uh, what he feels about President Tinubu's administration, said, In Nigeria, people who look for positions like president and governors just look for those positions because they can do it. Maybe because they have to withdraw the money to do it, but they never prepare how and what to do if they will. Right now, the problem we have is that there is a government and we have a president. See how long it is taking the president to get his ministers. He is supposed to, within 60 days, get his minister, but he has not been able to do that. How to control the country, how to manage the country, how to install discipline, how to also empower people economically in various fields. So, the government is not ready. Everybody, the president, the governors, let alone the local government chairman, they have nothing on the ground. If you ask him what he wants to do in the next six months, he has nothing. He may bring a fat book and read. A former minister of petroleum, Umaro Dambo, recently expressed his view on the readiness of President Paul Tinubu's government. Dambo, in a recent interview with Daily Trust, claimed that President Tinubu governors in the country are not ready for governance. The former minister, who was part of the campaign team of President Tinubu, wondered why it took the president a longer time from his, to form his cabinet. He further stated that President Tinubu in the next six months does not have what he wants to do. Dambo, when asked uh, what he feels about President Tinubu's administration, said, In Nigeria, people who look for positions like president and governors just look for those positions because they can do it. Maybe because they have to withdraw the money to do it, but they never prepare how and what to do if they will. Right now, the problem we have is that there is a government and we have a president. See how long it is taking the president to get his ministers. He is supposed to, within 60 days, get his minister, but he has not been able to do that. How to control the country, how to manage the country, how to install discipline, how to also empower people economically in various fields. Alright viewers, you have listened to today's news. <laughs> Somebody here, um, okay, the headline says President Tunumbu has nothing he wants to do in the next six months. The ex minister. All right, now this uh, minister, um, Maru um, Dambo, has recently, he was, re he was interviewed recently and he was asked about the president and I was like, that the president has nothing he wants to do. Like, there is nothing, Kotier, Kotier, first thing, cock off. Don't want to see that he's not he has nothing that he want to do. Ha hey me now I don't know for this morning. Well check a lot see comment session because we have comments in the comment session. Everybody want to talk, so let us go and read people in then so how people might pay if they agree or they say oh guy you are you love care now to the head and to the um comment somebody here says while we took six months before he formed his cabinet, the worst government in Nigeria history, God will punish <laughs> Please, this is early morning, Monday. Hey, Joe, I don't want to insult in this comment section. Just go straight to the point and don't insult anybody. Hey, Joe. Somebody here says, It was clear from the onset that Tunubu just wanted a name. So why did you campaign for him only to diagnose later? My dear, if you ask me who I want to ask. Somebody here says, it is crystal clear this man is not seeing some good. Maybe because he campaigned, has, and his, he campaigned and has not been rewarded. 
Has he not hit the ground running with some economic measures put in place in order to refer- reshape our bad economy? There are some of the things he promised to do because we cannot be using 90% of our income to pay debt and still sustain the subsidy and three parties, APC, PDP and LP. Promised to do away with the subsidy when campaigning. Even Peter B said subsidy is an organized crime and it will go immediately, he swore it. Moreover, he formed his cabinet within the next um, speculated by the law. Mm. Oh, somebody here says, I said it before, Tunubu has nothing to offer Nigeria, and that is the fact. Just wait and see. Somebody here says, This man has gone slow, he's incoherent. I guess his brain is tired. Okay, somebody here says, Nigeria is a country where people decide to keep quiet or talk or talk because his own is involved or not. With this spirit, I wonder where we are going. We need to see Nigeria as our own, not our tribe only. If we if we must make a a a hay, we as a hay way as a country. Okay. What he says, even Bwari didn't find you worthy of appointing you to his cabinet. You must have been an empty vessel. What he says, tell the world what you have to achieve in your life in the in the last three months. Then compared to Mr. with Mr. Tunubu, what Mr. Tunubu has done, I believe if you are honest, you should cover your face. The face is that people like you have no conscience. Hmm. When you one blast this man, we will, ha. What do you say? If I may advise this man with his age and position, even ever held, should know that Nigeria situation deserves patience and study rather than rush Tunubu's is doing the best. Hey. Somebody else says, sorry from loser. Somebody else says, no, sir, he is settling himself. He is not, is that not doing something? Ha. While I read this comment session, hey, you might should fight you. My fight in my comment session, you. Edjo. Edjo. Somebody else says, no, sir. Somebody else says, thank God we told you people, but religious and tribal sentiment be clouded your sense of reasoning. Lamentation after you contributed to these um uh, so this um current hopelessness absurdity in governance is belated very soon some of you are experiencing the consequences of keeping your people under perpetual penetry through suppression um subjection ah, ah english is plenty mother says everybody knows that tunubu has nothing to offer nigeria's hair calm the hair aura he give the more he break he give him her break He's just coming to her, give him her break. Ah ah, don't sell it. Oh, well, why we, why we are still um waiting for the tribunal? They have not passed the judgment. They have not given the final verdict. You understand? So let us let us see. He has started. Let us see what he wants. We have to know already started. They carry kilo of the what he want to do. And like this now, her eyes on the tribunal. Abi, the B is what we are all of us used to see. All right, viewers, we have come to the end of today's news. Please do want to jump out the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.